I feel good. Alright guys. What is up? Everyone out there in TV, Streamland, whatever the fuck you're watching this on, goddamn, I need my Kool-Aid. Hi. Welcome back. My name is Jeremy from the J Juggler channel, and I feel great. I'm not sick. Uh God. I sneezed like three times today though. I don't know anyone that actually like calculates their sneezes and keeps track with that shit, but I I do and it kind of just lets me know how sick I am. Like, you know, some people like I know for me my red flag is my throat is sore. Other people would be like, oh well for me it's this random thing or whatever. Yeah, I'm I'm built different. Anyway, we're back. The Crash Marathon is back again. Um, the last time I did this, guys, I'm not going to lie. It was not that I was sick. It's not that I just didn't want to do it. I eventually just got very, very fatigued. I'm I'm sorry. Is my mic over here, right? Yeah, I can't lie, guys. I got fucking fatigued. I was so, so, like, done. What's up, Eli? Dude, I, I just couldn't. Like... I was pushing myself to do this shit, and I was like, bro, I can't. I just fucking can't. And, and no, sometimes it's like a mixture of no one in the chat is really just along for the ride, meaning no one is really just trying to, like, entertain the stream. No one was really talking, so a part of me was just like, fuck, I don't, I don't feel like it. Like, I, I just was not in the mood. I don't give a fuck today. Like, it's, it's very chill vibes. You know, there might be those moments where I don't talk, and that's okay. It's because I'm literally... <laughs> I made it for the long haul, guys. After this, we'll have gold relic, so we'll start that. I'll be in and out, got dinner in a session later. Yeah, dude, you are... You're good. Um, so, yeah, I, I, I completed Warp Room 2 last time, and then I started doing um, a little bit of Warp Room 3 before I said, fuck this, I'm going to go do something else. Like, I, I literally felt so bad. Like... I, I was in a rush to start streaming today as well, mainly because I really wanted to do it after some time. And the the best part about all of this is like once I get past like Crash Bash, um, once I get past this, I'll be able to move on. <laughs> and I'm I'm very 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 excited to move on. Um, in other news, I decided that I'm gonna cancel the Daiki challenge. Um, Reason that being is, I had to sit down and really think about this, is like, you know, if I'm struggling to uh, do this game 100, 200% technically, on my own, and you know, we, we have the tedious points in the game where it's just like the game gets fucking annoying, if I'm struggling with that, I can't imagine doing that several more times. I checked this before coming here, you got 18 fails so far. Thanks, man. <laughs> Thanks for keeping me straight. <laughs> But no, dude. Hey, Daiki. But yeah, I decided I'm gonna cancel the Daiki challenge. I'm sorry. Um, I love Daiki to death, but I, I just, I just can't. I just fucking can't. Like my toleration, toleration. Is that, a, is that a word? I think it is. My, my tolerance, tolerance. That's the word I'm thinking about. My tolerance with doing this game more times and probably just once is fuck no and absolutely fucking not. Um, I could probably redo the adventure mode two player with someone, um, but then I would just tell you guys expect that on the me bros because we do plan on doing that in the future. Um, it'll be me, Noah, and Mark running through that game together. Um, I'm pretty sure we're going to be using Koala Kong and Tiny. I think that's our plan just to make the overall route easy for us. I got it. I was just playing the game myself the other day. Made zero progress. <laughs> yeah, so I, I would like to move on. I'd like to progress, which is why today I'm in it for the long haul. I'm off today. It's Saturday. I have nothing else to do. Um, my friends did invite me to go hang out with them later, but I'm kind of not. So like. I, I have this, like, thing, right? Like, I, I've been a really big flake to my friends lately. I'm not very proud of it, you know? Um, but something one of my friends did tell me is that I might flake a lot, and I might not be there whenever I want to be there. 
but or whenever people invite me and sometimes i can have like the most abysmal excuses i get it i get it um but one of my friends said it best is that like at least whenever i am around it's like i am the most wonderful person to have around the energy is always bar none really good so I'll, I'll keep that um but it was something i wasn't invited to so i was just like eh, i think i'll just chill with the house um this game is a shit show to complete a blast to play in multiplayer but ugh, on a single player yeah it's literally a checklist and it's so tedious especially in the beginning portion of the game where i'm at right now because you don't have relics yet you just have trophies crystals and gems and the trophies, I feel like, make it the most tedious to do. Um, the reason why I say that is because as you're getting trophies, you have to do this shit three times in a row. So for some mini games where there's a timer involved, that shit can get really fucking tedious. <laughs> and oh my Jesus, is it bad. It, it can get really fucking bad how tedious this game gets. Like, holy shit. That's why, like, with some games, I'm kind of just like, dude, I really do not want to lose on the trophy challenge, because God forbid if I have to do this fucking minigame again, i.e. beach ball, this game, any ballistics uh, game, I do not want to lose on the trophy, because I literally, I literally feel like, like hell having to redo a fucking one of these minigames again. The Pogo games, some of the Medieval Mayhem games... Um, some of them I'm okay with repeating, like, I, I don't, I don't mind losing on a Crate Crush game and then having to redo something, um, any Crash Dash game, anything, anything with a timer or these ballistic games, I'm kind of like, dude, what the actual fuck? Not to mention half the times, game relies on RNG, yeah, yeah, this... Double Homicide. So you're just gonna play till you be oxide then? Well, no. I mean, I'm I'm still gonna 100 200% this file. I don't plan on doing it multiple times though. Um, I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna beat the game. Trust me. I, I will definitely go through and beat and get all the blue relics and everything. Um, I will do that. I call them blue relics because I feel like they're supposed to be sapphire relics, but the coloring made them look like well, no, they're supposed to be like platinum relics but the coloring made them look sapphire so i just called them blue plus that's what me and my dad called them all the time back in the day i mean of course now i can just say they're sapphire relics but that doesn't make sense sapphire relics are at the fucking bottom of the food chain whenever you're doing time trial for like crashing racing or something but yeah dude that is literally i'm still gonna 200 percent this file with coco um do not expect me after Crash Wrath the Cortex to come back to this game, though. I will not do that. Um, expect me, however, to do this game on Amiibos um, as a single-player run with Mark and Noah. Uh, we will have our run um, doing multiplayer on the game as well. Um, that's going to take its course. We are slowly uploading... Um, we're slowly uploading Mario Party 1 uh, videos and parts. So, just stand by for that. You really can't hear the music of Embolism, and this is one of my favorite soundtracks in the game, but you can't hear it amongst all the pitter-pattering and slamming steel of the balls everywhere. Mark's getting wrecked in Mario Party 1. How do you feel? <laughs> Crown Pound? Just how? <laughs> I don't fucking know. Man, like, so far, he... It, it gets worse. I promise you it gets fucking worse. Like, for people who don't know, I know it was uh, suggested by Mark for us to upload our schedule. Um, if you haven't noticed yet, sessions that are done by me are uploaded on Mondays. Noah's are uploaded on Wednesdays. Mark's sessions are on Fridays, while Smashdown Saturday videos will be on Saturday. Once we actually start our co-op series of games, um, those will be on Sundays. 
And we will have our own mini directs as well. Not nothing like a TGMG direct, but it's going to be something close to kind of announce stuff that's coming out um, from all of us mostly. This crystal can either be a bitch or it can be relatively easy. Um, my dad used to not like this crystal in the slightest. And the actual cool thing about it is I never noticed this until now. Um, the minigame takes... The crystal challenge takes a lot of inspiration from the space levels, at least in the background. At least what it looks like. My dad used to hate... He used to really hate embolism a lot. Like, he, he fucking hated it. Yeah, so in this version, as you can tell, Engine is only going to gun for me. <laughs> and the timing, you never know when he's going to throw a ball at you, which sucks. Jesus. I hate ballistics in general. I'm... <sighs> I think it can get interesting depending on who you're playing with and who's playing what position, which is why whenever I do multiplayer, I always never allow myself to be player one. Because it, then it's just not fun. Yes! Choke, 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 please choke. You have got to be shitting me. You have got to be shitting me! You've got to be shitting me! <laughs> oh my god! Fuck, watch is gonna be someone else that's a dickhead neck this, this round. What's up, man? Yes, I did. I, I promised the stream and I am here. And I am at peak form. I feel 100%. I'm no longer sick. What I did do, though, going forward, if I do get sick, I do have medicine available at my disclosure. Disclosure? I think that was the word I'm thinking about. Oh, my God. Also, to anybody that's been watching the shorts, thank you. I want to give a major shout-out to John for actually showing me how to get those working. I've been wanting to do shorts for a long, long time for the channel, but I don't know. It just wouldn't work. Um, he just showed me the settings I should set up whenever I'm editing a short, and from there, we're good. So I learned how to set up shorts, which is great. Yep, so what you'll be seeing from shorts, I'm just going to get clips from funny videos. If you haven't seen my TikTok already before, it's going to essentially be the same thing. I'm going to put way more attention on shorts, though, for YouTube, because that's where a lot of my, uh, that's where a lot of my, uh, retention is, and that's where a lot of my support is, is mostly on YouTube. This motherfucker already did. Oh my Jesus. I'm about to lose this bitch again. Oh my God. Oh my fucking God. You guys are dickheads. Oh my God. You guys are dickheads. There's no way. There's no way. You guys are. Yeah, no. Nah. This is blasphemous at this point, yo. Please stop. Stop. <laughs> get it why does he get it no son of a bitch ah oh, god oh shit son of a bitch you're a public enemy number one you fucking rilla dick rilla slong rilla dong i don't give a fuck what you are 
Oh, so now you ain't gonna be a threat. Now you gonna play it easy. Oh, son of a bitch. Like I said, sometimes this can be really fucking easy. Other times they can be engine can really fuck you. Dude, I gotta fucking I gotta play the goddamn monster. throw one out which challenge is this this is the crystal challenge for embolism which is one of the ballistic games in crash bash um this challenge engine is only gunning for me normally whenever you have engine on the game he's usually throwing balls towards every goal this time he's only gunning for me what a cock oh my god i'm all the way over here okay last time you didn't want to do shit now you're just doing everything underneath the kitchen sink To fucking hell. Oh shit. Oh yes, give me that, give me that, give me that. Yes, yes, come on, it's just one, it's just one. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Oh God, it was just one. It was literally just one. Uh, sent me a snap. Bring back today is when I will rage quit and celebrate when I finally beat it. Oh, dude, you have no, you have no fucking idea. I was about to get full Australian idea. Just, you have no idea, dog. Like, oh, I, I'm just not seeing in the camera. Ignore like the background, dude. I, every weekend I take the weekend to clean because throughout the week I go to work and I go to fuck home. Like, I don't think about cleaning shit at all, especially when it's just me. So ignore anything in the background. Um, but yeah, when it came to Blue Relics and doing this shit with my dad, oh, hell yeah, there'd always be a celebration. There'd be some middle fingers thrown here and there. Like, dude, hell yeah. The celebration was key. There's nothing better than just getting, oh, fuck. Getting a Blue Relic just easily with no issues whatsoever. You know what made it so bad? was he pushed himself and didn't stop. Like, he didn't even try to correct it. He just saw, I'm going this way, and I'm going to keep going. Like, he, he didn't, my man just did not give a fuck. Oh, yeah, you finna go. Oh, shit. Nope, nope. Fuck out of here. Fuck out of here. I know I made fun of you. That don't mean you got to go after my ass. You wanna do it again? Oh shit. If you guys can't tell already, usually for these uh, trophy challenges, the computers get a little bit, you know, frisky and more wanting to fuck you up as you keep doing these. Oh, go after him. Do his ass. That's so bullshit. <laughs> that is. So... He skipped leg day and so did his polar bear. Yeah, you're damn right. Nah, that's so bu That's so bullshit. Yeah, get that motherfucker. You're. Mm. He didn't even try it. Let alone when I push him. This this motherfucker. Yeah, yeah, you finna go. 
You finna go to. Yep, yep, you finna go to. You finna go to. Go ahead, suffer. The same fate I did. You can go to hell too. You're damn right it was. That man keeps getting fucked by Uka Uka. That's so sad. This is by far going to be the most annoying gym challenge ever, though. The gym challenges, I feel like, are what give me the most trouble, only because of the goddamn timer. That timer, like, they put it at the most abysmal shit. The only way to really win on some of these games with that time, I'm literally looking at me getting fucked right now. That man zapped me clean cold. That was so foul. That was absolutely foul. All right. We're, we're just going to do this, because th that crystal challenge can get a little bit fucked. It can. It absolutely can. No, not crystal. I meant the gym challenge. The gym challenge can be absolutely fucked. Like, it's so bad. You see how much time is on that goddamn timer? You know, and it's, it's, it's bad, because Manic Panic has almost the same time. I think it's 20 seconds in Manic Panic. The next polar game that we have in the next warp room. However, you have bombs in that one. So it's not as bad. It's still bad, but it's not as bad. This shit, 25 seconds. I'm going to be doing all this bitch and I bet I get it. God damn! He pushed the shit out of me. No, he absolutely pushed the shit out of me. Why do I keep dying that way? Get his ass. I swear to fucking Christ if that happens again. Look at this. I'm not going to be able to do this. There's no fucking way. That was, what the fuck, just, the setup was so clean, like, real, Uka Uka, now, fucking Embryo, dead eyes helped me on that shit, I'm not gonna be able to see the playback on that till a little later, he pushed the shit out of me, Real Rude pushed the absolute shit out of me, like, you can't, he, he had some type of animosity on his fucking tail, his chest, his schlong, I don't know where it was at, that bitch was stored up somewhere. The setup, though, was so nice. I knew as soon as Embryo pushed, I'm like, oh, yeah, no, I got to get his ass. I got to do his ass tomorrow. Win without the ability to save yourself. Oh, yeah, this is fucked. Yep, this can be really fucked. Oh, let's not start early, guys. Come on. At least they know the assignment. I should have gave it to that motherfucker. Oh, yep. Fuck on you, right? None of that, none of that touched him. Okay. See, look, I wasn't trying to be too like, I wasn't trying to showboat, but I was like, yo, one slip up, and I just accidentally get close to the ice, and it's over with. I'm going to get my PS3 back online so I can play again. Hey, man, do that. The PS3 is actually an amazing fucking console, and I don't regret, like, I don't regret um, owning it not one bit. Like, I don't even, like, I've already talked about maybe on a past stream my stories about the PS3 that I have, which is the one that plays the PS1 and PS2 games. Like, that's the one that I own. I'll do this one last because I have a timer. I don't know if I did this one yet. I didn't finish it. Okay. Yeah, the one I have is the one that plays, like, it's the OG PS3. The one that's backwards compatible with two, one games, all of that shit, right? Now, keep in mind, these motherfuckers come with only 80 gigabytes. 
I swapped it out with one that was a terabyte. So I can literally get everything in the kitchen sink on this motherfucker, bro. Oh, this one isn't super difficult because it's a crate game. And they're not just going to give you 25 seconds to do this shit because that would be fucking abysmal. Hope it's not gonna be fucking abysmal. Yeah, come over here. Come over here. There we fucking go. I knew he was gonna bring his ass back over here. But no, um so I, I remember, I, I can retell the story. So this was one day, um, I had just got back from going home for a trip. I'm pretty sure it was the 4th of July I think I was gone for. No, it wasn't the 4th of July, but I was gone um, back home. I think it was the end of July, like last year time frame. And I was driving back, and I remembered I goofed. I left my PS3, like, I, I tell y'all, like, my life... I learned so much shit about life to where you would think after I get like past the age of 25, like I'm set. I'm fucking set because I've learned so much about life to the point where it's just like, wait, what is this one? When with the handicap of slippy shoes. Okay. So yeah, all this is, is that you, I move a lot more slippery. Okay. So it, it doesn't really hinder me too much until I start moving. I think that's when it's the most noticeable. Son of a bitch. Yeah, I don't think the CPU have to worry about this. I mean, the snow is still an annoying. Yeah, there's times like that. Like my traction, I legit move like I'm goddamn Luigi. The fucking, did the Nitro Crate just populate on top of me? Oh, oh, you got a Vendetta. Oh, you son of a bitch. My stomach itches. I moved with the crate. How does that make sense? But no, like, um, I left my PS3 in the car, and I also had... So at work, I'm in charge of buying snacks for our uh, booster club thing, right? So I'm in charge of doing that. I won't be doing that for long. Right? But, however, um, this shouldn't be that fucking hard. <laughs> like, but <clears throat> I'm in charge of getting snacks. I left Sprite and I want to say Red Bull in my car over the time I was gone. Now, keep in mind, it's hot currently, right? Because this is July. It's hot. It's not cold. Um... So right now, at the time of this all happening, I was like, oh my god, like, my stomach itches. I was like, holy shit, like, what what's happening? Why do, I don't even remember what it was, but I remember something weird had happened, and I think it was like my car was like, closed or some shit? My car was closed. Oh bro, please, don't, don't do this. Please don't do this. It's always the fucking ape. My dad hated that character growing up. But no, anyways. Um, yeah, so I hadn't left all that shit in my fucking car. And um, here's the thing about life, you know, so here's something. Never leave drinks in your... God, okay, these slippy shoes. This bullshit is actually really annoying. It's actually fucking abysmal. This is actually really abysmal. It, it shouldn't have been this fucking hard. I'm gonna scratch the shit out of my stomach. Oh my god. I wonder if I should just let them kill themselves. Oh, 
it seems like I don't really have too much time to try and let that happen. Never mind. <laughs> Mortal Kombat 9 was my favorite game to play on the PS3. But playing the PS1 Crash Games on the PS3 was pretty much fun. Was pretty fun when playing with friends. Oh yeah, dude. Like as soon as I realized the PS3 was backwards compatible, that's when I wanted one, just so I could only play Crash Bandicoot and nothing else. That was the only thing I cared about at the time when I wanted a PS3 during that time frame. I shit you not. Only thing I fucking cared about. Um but I left my stuff in there, and along with all that stuff, I had a PS3 that I got from this retro gaming kiosk in the mall. Um, they charge really expensive prices for their games. And, um, well, I don't want to say it's, like, super expensive, because I think they have this deal. Like, if you get a certain console or something with your games, they take $10 off. Um, you can get in-store credit with them and all types of shit. Um... But no. So, oh, shit. I don't notice the mines until they fucking go off. But no. Um, I left my PS3 in the car. And like I said, I had a bunch of drinks explode and shit like that. Which, it ended up getting drink shit all over my fucking car. Which it, it is a no-go, right? That, 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 it was really fucking awful. He's about to kill himself. It was, it was pretty fucking terrible. Um can't even begin to go on about how upset I was about it. And I didn't even I didn't even test the PS3. See, it was just sticky. This it was the PS3 with the slide cover on it. And that's like probably my least favorite PS3, at least by design. I just don't think it looks all that good. In my opinion. Um And not even like I think the only PS3s that I think are really worth giving a damn about are Genuinely, the ones that are backwards compatible, or the, yeah, those specifically are the ones. I mean, even though at the end of the day, I've already talked about like how at one point I talked about how the PS3, when it comes to the games that it can't play backwards compatible, it kind of just sucks because it's like some of those games have flaws where they lag slowly, they run poorly, um, glitches and shit. There was something I looked up. Um, I gotta refine that chart. It was basically a chart that went over like all the different uh, issues that some of those games on the PS3, like that plays backwards compatible, like all games. It went over like all the different issues that that shit had. Okay, my battery's low. Okay, I think I, I think my cord is in here still. This went a lot more smooth than Desert Fox. But yeah, I ended up buying um, a different PS3 because I called the retro gaming store and they were like, I was like, hey, this is what happened, so on and so forth. Um, I was originally going to call this retro gaming store that, like, that's up the street from me, but it's a, it's really abysmal. They don't have like a lot of shit in there. It's one of those, like, I'll go if I need something very obscure, like a Game Boy Advance link cable or something like that, right? But I go in there... Um, I called the, the retro game store at the store. They don't have any PlayStation 3s. So I called the one that's like an hour and some change for me. And they're like, okay, yeah, we have PS3s. But good news, we have this one PS3 that actually plays back uh, PlayStation 2 and 1 games backwards compatible. You should come check it out. We literally just got it. And I'm like, holy shit, I want, I want this thing. Like, what the fuck? take at least one more hit and I would have died. Lloyd, what's up, man? Welcome to the stream. The bad thing is when playing Bash on PS3 is the game performs faster than usual, but again, that's just for POW. Oh. Oh, I heard about that. Because I was saying, like, the game runs, like, it, it has, like, lag. Well, not really lag, but it'll, like, it'll load slow for, like, some warp rooms. Like, I remember playing Crash Bash on, like, the PS2, and the game loads, like, like whenever you walk up to the warp room level, right? It'll load fine, but like some levels will just load and chug a little bit on the PS3. It's a small thing. The game still fucking plays, which I'm fine with, but it's just a small thing I noticed when playing this. Um, but I've never, like, I, I, I've never noticed the PAL version do that before. Granted, I've never just seen the PAL version um, of Crash Bash. 
I heard PAL versions of games kind of have this shtick anyway where they just look bad. Like, I think that's just something I've heard for, like, only a few games, but not all of them. Alright, so he is on my fucking ass. Holy shit. Can you get off of me? This motherfucker's been talking to me ever since. Like, hold on, Brio. Shit. Alright. This crystal challenge, there are mines falling from the sky. One of those things hits me, I am gone. And you're probably wondering, where the fuck are the mines at? They only will really show up if you stand still. So I will do my damnness or that. They, they start now. Um, if you stand still, though, they will literally just beam for your... Ah! Yeah, the only game that benefits from being on PAL is Crash 2. Why is that? Yeah, I've, I've always heard weird stories about PAL versions of games not doing good at all. And PAL version is only just Australian versions most of the time? Am I completely wrong on that, or is that, like, pretty much true? Or the European version. Yeah, you can get your ass on. I see that one. I normally don't see them until they're about to fucking detonate. You gotta be fucking kidding me. Please open up. You have got to be kidding me. That was easy. That was fucking easy. No, like, as soon as I saw that motherfucker about to go off, I'm like, I gotta shoot myself right now. No, the, the thing is, sorry, when I fucking didn't notice the uh, the mine, I learned that tactic from Daiki. Now, if y'all been watching my shorts, y'all y'all should be seeing, like, Daiki was, he was a force to be reckoned with the first time I played against him in Crash Bash. I didn't get the gym here. All right. Um, but, yeah, um, I went to the store, right, and I went and got the PS3. I saw it. It was literally, I, I would show y'all, but it's hooked up right now and if I drag it I'm pretty sure I'm gonna fuck something up so I'm not gonna do that but um I got the PS3 I was like holy shit I didn't have to even trade anything to get it I already had the money because I already had store credit on file as well so I was able to get the PS3 no problem and they also took the one that was like really fucked up ran that, like just what didn't look like it would actually play the one that I got like sprite and shit all over they took that one as well um, really, like, a Chad move of them, and th this store is really great, I've had this PS3 for probably about a couple of months, it's been doing me justice, and, like, after a while, you know, this PS3 doesn't come with a lot of gigabytes, and I'll let y'all know, spoiler alert, 80 gigabytes in this day and age is not much. <laughs> Eighty gigabytes is not jack shit, it, it's not, um... We got, uh, there's PlayStation 5 and 4 games nowadays that are like 60 gigabytes, 80, 40. Like, downloading two digital games would take up half, would take up your entire hard drive nowadays for a PS3, like these types, you know what I'm saying? So, um, fast forward, I'm, fun fact, Ningo Dao is actually the worst character in this game due to really getting one frame faster in the pogo levels. I fucking knew it! I knew it! I knew that was a thing! Is that like in all the games? That's actually a thing? Is this like all versions of the games? I knew it! I knew some characters move faster than others. Will Rook is a frame faster than him? So with that with that logic, then we can go ahead and say that Real Aru and Dingo Dao are the worst characters in the game. That's so sad. Because I actually like I like Dingo Dao as a character. But in this game, it's just hard to like him. I'm not gonna even, I can't cap. Can't lie about that. He's one character who I'm just like, eh. Just... That's why a part of me was also like, yeah, I don't think I want to do the Daiki challenge. That, a part of me was like, eh, I don't think. The challenge on paper sounds like it's doable, but then my sanity. Like, I, I don't think I can handle it. I don't, I don't think I can handle it, no, to be honest, so I was kind of like, eh, fuck it, I think I'm just going to, um, I'm just going to beat it with Coco, and then I'll go from there as far as how I'll play the game, I'm pretty sure, like I said, Amiibros, we're definitely going to do it for multiplayer and for single player, um, it's just a matter of when we're going to do it, 
Am I the only one who likes the pogo levels? I like them. They're, they're all right. Um, I think the only thing about the pogo levels, like, I'll say specifically whenever you're doing multiplayer with your friends, it, it, any game with a timer takes, you know, it's tedious, right? That's why some people don't really fuck with, uh, what are those games called? The Medieval Mayhem mini games. The only one I like is probably Drag and Drop. Malamash is okay. Ring Ding is meh. And Ken Kaboom can literally go fuck itself. Like, annihilate itself, to be honest. But, um, yeah. Some, like I said, the only one that I actually like is out of the Pogo games is Pogo and Go Go. It's the most unique. Um, Pogo Padlock is meh. Um, eh, I, it's hard for me to say. I think Pogo Painter is probably my least favorite just because it's kind of boring. Like, it's just Pogo in the jungle. Like, that's literally all it is. I actually beat Dingo 200%. I was like, why is it so hard until I did 200% of Tiny? It was so much easier. Yeah, like, I think the only games that kind of gave would give me the most trouble with uh when it came when it comes to 200 percenting with dingo dial would probably be the polar games even though for some reason he's a goddamn arena champion in that shit um the pogo games and you son of a bitch you son of a bitch oh my god <laughs> what's up Devin? welcome to the stream this game really needs a remaster. That's what all of us thought that Crash uh, Crash Team Rumble was going to be. was just a remaster of this. But we were way off. Way, way, way off. Crash Team Rumble, if anything, is literally Crash Bandicoot, but League of Legends. That's, that's literally what it is. That would be... I don't know what genre League of Legends actually is. But that's going to be the only League of Legends genre-esque game I will ever play. This is a close fucking game. Oh my god. Oh my god, that was close as fuck. <laughs> that was close as fuck. This is one of those games where I do not want to lose on a trophy because these timer games, I'm like, fuck. <laughs> like. Now again, doing this with friends is not that bad. It's not bad at all, you know, but you know, playing against CPUs on an easy ass difficulty, I kind of, uh, I'm kind of like, eh. One done would be great. <laughs> like, I'd appreciate it if it was just a one done sort of deal. But, um, no. But, yeah, no, um, after, with the PS3, I only used my PS3 for the original Crash uh, games and CTR. Yeah, I mean, I don't really have a lot of use out of my PS3 for original games. I don't think there's too much, like, in the, there's not a lot of stuff in the original PS3 library that I just want. Um... Mostly because a lot of games on the PS3 are remastered on the PS4 that I think I'd really like. Like, The Last of Us, uh, the entire collection, I can just get that for the PS5. Uh, well, technically the 4, but it would be the 5 since I don't have my PS4 anymore. But um, a lot of those games are just already remastered. So in my eyes, I'm kind of just like, eh, I don't see any point in just like getting a, uh, a PS4 like a lot of these PS3 games that are on the market you know what I'm saying like there's a few um I, I definitely saw a few games that I'm kind of just like you know and I think I think I'd really fuck with this like there's a God of War collection that I'm actually um interested in oh yeah the Spyro games too um the Spyro games those are good to um, have as well like the games I I can tell you this like off rip I do have a couple of PlayStation 1 games like for PlayStation 1 um, I, don't, I can't remember, at, at one stream I actually mentioned, like, some of my friends getting a PlayStation 1, um, just to have it for nostalgia, like, John got one, just having nostalgia, just to be like, oh, I'm gonna start a PlayStation collection, I'm gonna start with a PS1, nowadays it's like, there's no point in having a PlayStation 1 unless it's for collectors, you know, like, like, just to say, like, oh yeah, I'm a Sony fan, I own every PlayStation, and it's like, genuinely, what the fuck are you gonna do with that thing, you know what I'm saying, like, I know, like, the PlayStation 1 can play music, but we're so advanced in technology nowadays where it's just, like, you can play music off of different things. And I don't think people really play CDs like that anymore. Like, if anything, I think one thing that's probably vintage is probably, and pretty cool, is probably just playing vinyl records. And I don't know what PlayStation you got that can play them big motherfuckers. Like, 
most people are definitely into vinyls nowadays more than just regular CDs. Because nine times out of ten, when it comes to playing music, you're not going to play a CD. You're probably going to just play it on an aux. Okay, you're really pissing me off. <laughs> I'm expecting a redo. Oh my Jesus. If I had some more shoes. Yeah, I got it. <laughs> Again, that was close. <laughs> All I said was I need more shoes. Here you go. <laughs> no, um. Yeah, like, I, as soon as I got, like, this PS3 and everything, I saw the space, and then I, I remember one of my friends telling me, like, hey, you could just, like, swap out the hard drive and get a bigger one. So I was like, bet, I'll just do that shit. Um, I learned that day when I tried to swap out my hard drives, I'm not that good with tools, because <laughs> um, I did end up uh, rounding the uh, screw hole, <clears throat> or at least the screw, for the old chassis of the other hard drive that I had, which ended up fucking me over because I I was trying to use like a different hard drive, and which which kind of net me not being able to play my PS3 for a little bit. But I, I did end up just buying the whole piece together and then replaced it. So luckily I was able to play my PS3 again, and then now with larger space. All right. So this crystal challenge. Um, I have to make sure that Ripper Roo does not fucking tap me with Nitro Crates. Um, instead of TNT, he does Nitro, so if you see him going around the stage a lot, it's because he's, uh, he's trying to, he's trying to hit me. So, I, my strat for this game, when doing the Crystal Challenge, I try to stay as far away as possible from that blue fuck. Okay. It's okay. It's okay. I try to stay as far as possible from the edge as much as I can. Because if you're close, he will do that shit. And all it takes is for him to jump across the level to just say, Okay, you want some nitros, my friend? Here you go. That's all he does. That's literally all he does. The, the nitros go off in what feels like two seconds. So, there's your timer. They didn't even... This isn't even a regular lab for Ripper Roo either. It's it's some type of advanced, crazier laugh that's just as scary. You've got to be fucking kidding me. Holy fucking shit. Take your own advice. <laughs> Take your own advice, Jeremy. Like, what did you do? You said don't get close to the edge. What did you do instead? Get close to the edge. I had no fucking choice, Jeremy. I had to get close to the fucking edge. I'm actually planning on doing, like, so in my spare time, you know, I've thought about other marathons that I actually want to do because um, I feel like these streams, like, the, the streams are great for just doing marathons. I do, I would love to become famous at some point during this whole streaming era. Get moved! What the fuck? See, that's also the shit that annoys me. These motherfuckers get in your way. I ought to. Pinheaded bastard. He was legit in the way. The fuck is wrong with you? My man's was in the whole way, dog. That sucks. <laughs> That's crazy. Those shoes look nice, too. Where you get them at? Just stay away from the edge as much as you can. I would love to get to the point to where I can just stream for charity, but it takes a lot. Like, people gotta actually give a fuck about you, and you gotta make the money to do that shit. Like, you have to, you gotta be famous. I would love to do that. It's gonna be a long road for me until I actually can do that, or until people actually notice me enough. So... I got some time, but I don't even know where that even came from. I think I was just in the midst of talking about how I got my PS3, but yeah, no. Um, I do, I do want to do um, 
the Spyro, a Spyro marathon of some sort. I've never even played all the Spyro games before. Um, I do like Spyro as a franchise. I, I do, trust me. Um, I just have not been able to play all of his games before. Oh, that, and that's all she wrote. Oh, thank God I was able to clear out this warp room with no issues. Okay. I'm so proud of me. I was able to do it with no problems. I think my water bottle is back here. So we are 15, 15. We good so far. Um, did I miss anything in like any of the other work rooms? Did I get everything up to this point? Well, I mean, well, I'll find out like later. But Yeah, so essentially, um, I did mention this in like the first Crash Bash uh, stream we did, um, but there is a story here with this game. Um, what Aku Aku is basically saying, oh, the Komodo Brothers. They look like fucking shitheads when they did that. What Aku Aku is essentially saying is, um, it doesn't seem like Uka Uka is really honest about trying to just play a fair competition. <clears throat> it looks like he's more invested in probably the crystals, so he's Uku Aku Aku shit is just telling us to protect the crystals and then just be smart about the decisions we make going forward. <clears throat> <clears throat> Fuck. I may have to take a break just so I get my fucking water. So I just ordered something from Walmart. <clears throat> This is probably the best strat to fucking do. I don't have too many minds to do this, but where are they at? No, right here. Oh god, I'm fucking idiot. This <clears throat> one mind can do them in so badly. <clears throat> So shitty! I did that shit too fucking early. Okay, you only get an opportunity to do that shit once. So, and missiles normally do a fuck ton of damage. They don't do jack shit here. I think it would have like seeing this. I just know like we have models to be able to like do like. Well, <laughs> Komodo Mo's like, well, you gonna go, Joe? Nah, fam, you got it. Yeah, that's too easy. I would have done it a lot faster because if I would have just laid the mine, like, probably a little earlier. Probably would have hit him, but you just go for one of them and just drop him on. You're gonna do like a fuck ton of damage. You probably only have to deal with one at that point. All right. So now the real fun begins. <laughs> All right, we're in warp room four, and look at this. We have a new thing to collect. Holy shit! So, upon getting to Warp Room 4, like I stated in the first stream, once you actually get everything, I don't, I don't know if you need to get all the levels up to this point shit, but I, I don't know. But I think as soon as you get to Warp Room 4, you pretty much get the uh, new 
MacGuffin of the Gold Relic. So now you can go about getting these. I'm pretty sure... I'm pretty sure... Gold Relics... <laughs> excuse me. Now that I've played a lot of Crash Bandicoot, Gold Relics do not have a green uh, gem in them. I can check, but... Good, good Relic. Not a Good Relic. Gold Relic. Crash. I'm pretty sure they don't. I'm pretty sure that's something they might have gotten wrong. Yeah... Yeah, gold rugs do not have a green emblem in them, which is interesting. So, that's some form of a gold key. <laughs> we can call it a gold relic, but no, I'm not going to be too picky on that. So, the way my dad would do it is he would normally do the level <clears throat> and then not get the gold relic yet. That's what my dad did. Now, we have like a fuck ton of levels, probably the most we've had, yeah, it's, it definitely is the most we've had, because we got new level, and oh, look, Oxide Live, we need a lot of shit, <laughs> it's just, um, so, like I stated, how I did it back in the day, my dad would do all of these levels, not get the gold relic, then go back and get all the gold relics up to this point, how I'm gonna do it, I'm going to go back and get the gold relics now. However, what I will do differently is I will do this. I will start with the easiest or most preferred levels and work my way around. So we're going to do that. I got this from Noah. This is going to be probably my preferred way of doing it. We're at 69%. This is going to be my uh, preferred way of doing this for a little bit. Is that a bug? That's a bug. That is definitely a bug. Whatever. But, um, I'm going to start here. Alright, so the difference between gold relics and doing everything else. Gold relics, you have to win twice in a row. Um, I will not be playing against the characters I've been playing against so far. I'll be playing against arena champions. Normally, these are characters who are good at the game, but I don't... They're literally just random CPUs based on the character that you're using. They, these characters normally aren't the ones who are the best at the game. They are just on a really high-ass difficulty. That's, that's literally it. Let's go. Let's go time. Yeah, you're right. This is probably the most... This was this was the part I was waiting on. We might get to blue relics today, so we'll see. Um, gold relics are a challenge. They're, you can easily fuck them up, right? But um, they're not as bad because you only have to win twice. Now they these guys are harder than your average CPUs you've been playing against up to this point. Um, but still be cautious because they are they can be tricky. It doesn't get crazy until we get to platinum relics. But yeah, I, I always talk about, yeah, see, you don't, you have to win twice in a row. The other characters' wins don't matter. The characters win at least once. If you got one point, then you fail. Um, that's really it. Like, if you, if you beat them twice in a row, then you're good. That was so fucked. Um, I've always talked about this. Um, like I said, the arena champions of games uh, will depend on the character that you pick. It solely depends on that and nothing else. Um, it's not like uh, characters have a rival thing or nothing like that. It's literally depending on the character. Um, for us, what we'll see as Coco is that Crash will be <laughs> in a lot of spots <laughs> that uh, Coco's not even in. or Coco does, it, Most of these don't even pertain to Coco. Like When we get to the, uh, the tank levels, um, it's not going to even really fucking matter. Or, like, Coco's, like, arena champions for the tank levels are typically the same. Uh, can you fucking die, please? Holy shit. Coco's arena champion for the tanks isn't... It, it shouldn't change, because she's never really an arena champion. But for some reason, Crash just fucking shows up. <laughs> and I think the Bandicoots are by far the worst characters in the tank games. I think they're fucking awful. Like, it's my least favorite. Okay, so that was easy. Um, while we're here, we'll knock this one out. But yeah, most of the times, like, I've been playing, I play as Crash every single time I did this as a kid. Um, 
the most bothersome characters for these relics is usually Rilla Ru and Coco. I don't ever have a problem with anyone else. Like, see, Crash is just here now. He, he replaces Coco, which makes sense. And he's blue. Like, I'm so fucking jelly. I hate being yellow in these games. And funny thing is, yellow is my favorite color, but it's such a basic color to be. Like, what the fuck? I'm the color of piss and lemons. Like, can I be anything else? This game is really fucking easy, again, because the CPUs don't really know too much about the whole spam your color in your corner thing. The most the CPUs will do is get in your fucking way. That's it. They're not gonna, they're not gonna do too much else. Um, in Pogo games, they're only annoying because they really just block your shit. And most of the times, most of the times, whenever an item just falls from the sky, they tend to grab that shit fucking ASAP. It's actually really fucking crazy. And they gun for you most of the time whenever you're like, whenever they have missiles or items like that electric bullshit, they go for you 99% of the time. Yeah, like, like, like right there. Why? Why, <laughs> why was there a point? What was the reason? <laughs> Not to mention, Crash really sucks at these games most of the time. <laughs> Whenever Crash is the CPU you're going against, he just fucking sucks. And for some reason, I find it funny how every other time, what any other character that you play with, for some reason, Crash is the green is the green color. Like whenever you're using fucking, I'm pretty sure there's other scenarios where Crash is red. I think. I'm pretty sure. That, God damn. Would you chill out, motherfucker? Yeah, I'm pretty sure there's points where Crash is, like, green. I know he's green for Tiny. He's green for Dingo Dial, I think. I think he's green. He might be red. Oh, and the Arena Champions will be really fucking different if you're doing the team adventure mode. So, yeah, no. Oh, you son of a bitch. <laughs> Yeah, I see, like I said, this motherfucker has 29 points. <laughs> I'm telling you, dog. They only gun for your shit whenever you're doing these games. For some reason, Pogo levels used to be really fucking annoying to me, like, growing up. This one isn't so bad, because like I said, all you need to do is just legit be in your fucking corner, and they, holy shit, can you calm down? Or, chill, why don't you focus on getting points instead of me, big brother? 35, holy shit. Yeah, that game is not, I, bro, the whole time, I'm feeling for the fucking wire, like, thinking I'm playing on a PS2. I was like, where the fuck is the cord? The whole time, I'm like, uh, uh, uh. Where is, where is my cord? I, I'm pretty sure it's like, it's somewhere. I literally had it recently. Because they're assholes, that's why. <laughs> that makes sense. Thank you for elaborating. <laughs> Alright, um, we'll bounce around. Yeah, Wolfram 3 has some easy shit. Um, dare I do embolism while I'm here? Like, the last time I did it, I was very lucky doing this with Noah for his channel when we 200% of the game together. Um, yeah, I think I'll just do Snow Bash. I'll do that. The, uh, Crate Crush levels aren't too hard. I don't want to say that and, you know, dig my own grave, but they're not too crazy. At least I don't think they are. fuck you picking up guy ow oh my god 
Bro, I just love the way Dingo Dow walks like he's about to get some business done. He's looking like he's like, I'm gonna go get that motherfucker. He, the way he just walks. Like, what What did they do to Dingo Dow, man? They, they got a lot of stuff right in this game, but they also got a lot of shit like hilariously wrong. Like, why did you make Dingo Dow sound like an idiot? If anything, you should have made Tiny sound like an idiot. You did make him sound like a bitch, though. Like... Oh, also I want to mention, you can't win by timeout in these, so if the time runs out, then you lose too. Hit him, hit him, hit him, hit him, hit him, hit him. Oh my god, it wasn't enough. Oh, you gotta be fucking kidding me. <laughs> god. <laughs> by the way, just want to give you a heads up, your Discord link links... Your Discord link links it to an invalid link. I tried clicking it, it keeps leading to an invalid page. Okay, we'll fix that. Um, is it the one in my description, right? Yeah, I can easily fix that bullshit. It doesn't even... It's not even my description. What the fuck? Um, yeah, let me do this. Um, invite people. Copy. Discord. There. Yeah. I just changed the link in my description. So for YouTube people, if you want to uh, join my server, by all means, I just updated the description to actually have the uh, link there. So it should be fine. I say should be, but oh my Jesus. God, dude, what the fuck? My man was literally just standing there. Taunting and shit. Oh, yeah, don't touch that. Too easy. Too fucking easy. Let me know if it works. It should work now. I mean, I used the literal invite link from my server just now, so hopefully it doesn't do any fuck shit. Alright, see? Easy. Um, I guess we'll also do dot dash. Hey, Eli. What did you miss? Um, I told my story about my PlayStation 3 and how I got it. Uh, I got the original one that plays PS2 and PS1 games. Um, how I swapped out the hard drive. I just beat Warp Room 3 using some very amazing tactics with the mines. And now we're going back and getting gold relics for specific easy levels to hard ones. So, that's where we're at right now. I explained green le green relics, and I also talked about how the green relics do not look, or green relics, Jesus, gold relics. I also talked about how the gold relics do not look gold in this. <laughs> they, they're, they're gold, but the gold relics here are false because the gold relics in the Crash Bandicoot universe are supposed to have a red gem in them versus a green one. I didn't notice that until now, or at least until I called it out. All right. Um, Crash Dash Relics, um, it's funny, um, all the arena champions are people with some type of yellow tint for their car, so it's either orange, red, or mustard yellow, I don't, oh god, Dot Dash, AIs are ruthless on Relic Challenges, no, I was gonna get into that, for some reason, the AIs get a start boost whenever you're doing this. Like, look at that. How do they just go faster than you at the fucking start? The only thing I can tell you to help you succeed in these games when you're doing relic challenges, get Wumpa Fruit before they do. And for some fucking reason, whenever they use Wampa Fruit, I feel like, I feel like, it doesn't go out as much. <laughs> like, the Wampa Fruit they use, it just takes a long time for that shit to drain out. Nice, dude. 
The only advice I can give you is just Cortex and Brio right during hovercrafts, I believe. Yeah, Cortex is, it always looked yellow, but it looked like a yellow green, but more yellow on his. Embryos is like aqua. I need your skills. <laughs> <laughs> Literally, the best thing I can tell you is get to the Whomper Fruit before they do. Because you get to be an asshole to other players, but they can be assholes to you. Yeah, that's that's what the relics... That's relics for you. But yeah, dude. Get the Whomper Fruit before they do. For some reason, they get a start boost whenever you do, like, Crash Dash, and it fucking sucks. It fucking sucks. <laughs> I think this is all of the uh, crate crush levels after I do this one. Oh shit. I never understood why they have different sound effects for whenever you die in these mini games. I never understood that. Like, one of them sounds like the actual little, uh, diggeridoo. Didgeridoo? Is it diggeridoo? I think it's didgeridoo. Diggeridoo doesn't sound right at the fuck all. Um, one of them actually sounds like the didgeridoo from Crash Bandicoot, and the other one sounds like a harp. Like... Now, I'm a little biased. I definitely prefer the didgeridoo a lot better. That would be very good if some wampa fruit would fall from the sky right about now. I think that it's actually really foul that these motherfuckers are going only for me! Bitch! <laughs> also got the relics for Ring Ding and Dragon Drop, and I mean just go relics. I would assume so. Ring, those levels aren't too bad though. Dragon Drop isn't hard for relics. So like I said, Whenever you fuck up, you gotta actually redo the game again. This level is a little difficult only because there's no gimmicks that can fuck up the CPUs. Like in Snow Bash and Space Bash. In Space Bash, they can fucking fall in the hole and, you know, fuck themselves up. In this game, you just have a lot of fucking crates and you gotta make sure that they don't get you first. I don't understand though, like, the decisions behind these arena champions doesn't make any fucking sense. Um, Embryo and Kong make sense, but I would have thought Cortex, Tiny, a character that throws far makes sense also. Fuck. Jesus Christ. If you haven't noticed, whenever you're doing this, the only difference is they are just gunning for you. On the side, my God. Is this my first one again? Wait a second. No, it is. Thank God. I don't get the hate for Ring Ding. Yeah, it's not as exciting as, say, Tanks, Crate Crush, Polo Push, but it's not so bad to me. Mark ruined it for me. Mark ruined the being and easiness of Ring Ding to me. He just ruined it for me. He ruined it. Ring Ding's a good mini game, to be honest. It's meh. This, Mark ruined that motherfucker for me. 
Why is everyone is after you? If anything sucks about ring dings, the occasional RNG with items. Yeah, that's where it gets fucking annoying. We'll do Crash Ball. It's the most basic one. Um, I just noticed some things about these relic challenges. They give the CPU a smidgen of a fucking handicap in some random thing. It's something random. Here, these motherfuckers kick harder. They kick harder for some reason. Nobody just has any better ability um, at these mini games, especially not. There, there's some where it's like you know, Qualcomm, Tiny, they throw really good and Crate Crush and shit. You know, I get that. Um, these games, you just defend your shit as much as you can. That's it. Just make sure you have good coverage. They hit the ball harder. You're not going to tell me they don't. And they're cracked. They move funny. They move fast as shit. The funniest thing just happened is SMP. What is SMP? Hey, what's up, dude? I swear to fuck. Survival multiplayer. Oh, see that? Look, that makes more sense when you say it like that. Alright, what happened? It just amazed me. I love Desert Fox. Yeah, Desert Fox is great. Um, I think my favorite tank level... I love Swamp Fox. I actually like Swamp Fox a lot. Some people will say otherwise. Um, I don't think it's that bad. I actually like it. And I think it's just because the mines... That game is probably the most I use the mines. And if it's not uh, Swamp Fox, I also like Jungle Fox a lot. Swamp Fox is poopy. I love Swamp Fox. Oh, I never got a chance to mention this. I'm going to let um, people vote what the next marathon is going to be for streams. Um, again, I don't know what the fuck is going to be. I have ideas of what I'd like to do. Um, it's not going to be something tedious either. Like, I'm thinking it's going to be PlayStation-esque, more than likely. Okay, not going to lie. Crash Ball, the classic Crash Ball level, is one of my favorite levels in the game. That's interesting. I think my favorite is... I would probably say Crash Ball as well. I think Crash Ball is probably my favorite. Um, I hate Beach Ball with a fucking passion. Embolism can... Embolism gets fucking crazy. Um, and Sky Balls just fucking sucks. I think it's it's weird how you go from just having a straight, like, um, goal to defend, and then now it's curvy, the failing engines suck, and... Uh, mm, no. Um, Crash Ball is probably my favorite as well. I think the music is just probably what sells me on it also best music. I mean, I do love the embolism music a lot, um, but yeah, this is, like, this hits. Crash Ball is more fun when you have friends that are playing and not computers. Oh, yeah, without a doubt. You can say that for all of these games. <laughs> also, I want to mention... Whenever you're doing these, like, blue relics, it is very, very rare that they miss a kick. Because <laughs> whenever you miss a kick, what happens? You have to wait for that bitch to come back. It is very rare that they miss a kick. Oh, my God. My eye is glinting. Yeah, there's no gimmicks here, which is also good. Because doing ballistics with all these gimmicks of, like, oh, you can... Uh, hold the ball and then you can launch it faster and farther or you have intro or uh, engine throwing more balls at you and then the failing it yeah all of that shit can fuck off Cortex is the most annoying in these games for some fucking reason can I please can you it's just one it's literally just one <laughs> These relics in this level help you increase your awareness how the AI behaves for future levels. It's the perfect starting level in IMO against AI. Yeah, ballistics really increases your like uh, your movement, like because you're gonna just be looking all over the board and seeing like where a ball is gonna go and seeing how characters move. Tiny, as I'm looking at him on the playback, he's literally just crouching near me and like, okay, I'm gonna hit the ball. It's your goal. Try to fuck you. Um, embolism and sky balls can f right off, especially embolism. <laughs> Oh, God. Did I miss a comment? I swear someone said something. Yeah, 
fucking tomorrow. Oh, that fucking sucks. Oof. Sorry about your server. Um, damn, polar panic. I think mine is probably, yeah, embolism has a really good theme. Dot Dash is good too. Um, every single mini game has a great song. They all have a great song. Okay. These levels, I hate them. I hate them a lot on Relics. So fucking much. I think this is like my least favorite le mini game to do through the Relics. And then it's Ballistics. And then it's, um, probably the Tanks. This shit sucks. The characters do not get pushed around so easily. Not to mention, Tiny replaces Coco. Co Coco's usually fucking there. Motherfucking Tiny replaces her. Do you know how hard the fuck, like, Tiny and Koal Kong push? Like, I get fucking terrified to approach Tiny whenever I'm playing this shit. Like, it's fucking painful. Not to mention, it is very easy to lose on this bitch by timeout. Purely timeout. Oh my god. Give me this. Okay, never mind. They legit put on 200 pounds for the relic. Oh shit! I feel like the best strategy is just holding down the push button as you're trying to push them. And for some reason, it makes you push a tad bit harder. But no, these motherfuckers are goddamn annoying. It's so bad. Yeah, growing big does absolutely nothing but slow you down. This is probably the worst upgrade out of all of them. Can you come over here, please? Can you come over here, please? Oh, God. <sighs> you literally can't move Tiny at all in Polar Push. The game is unfair. Yeah, it is. I found the other Polar Push levels not as bad compared to this one. I was playing as one of the worst Polar Push I should have looked. I wasn't looking. I love the chat, but fuck, I paid attention to the chat more than the fucking game. I suck. I suck. I suck. You know what? I, I actually pushed Dingo Dow hard as fuck off the damn ice, too. God damn me. Okay, I'm focused. I'm focused. I love the chat, but fuck. Damn. Ain't that your partner, G? God damn. Our bad. Don't blame yourselves. I blame myself. Oh, my Jesus. Yeah, you don't need that. He needs this. <laughs> See, the thing about Cortex is, he moves the fastest out of, oh, he moves the fastest out of all of them, so whenever he does his push, he's just moving fast as shit, so it's hard for you to push him. Oh, yeah, yeah, you done, son. Uh, see ya. He just moves so fucking fast, so it's so hard to keep missing him whenever you're trying to push him off the ice. Dingo Dow just put, like, like what Daiki said, my man puts on at least, like, 200 fucking pounds. Like I said, Tiny just looks fucking scary. Like, I don't even want to push him. Please give me this, please give me this, please give me this. Oh, fuck you. Thank you. Thank you. They do that shit, too. Like, Dingo Dial, who was it? Was it Dingo Dial or Tiny? One of them pushed, tried to push the other one into me. They will do that, too, to fuck with you. 
They will literally use the other one as a sacrifice. And it's so fucked. I might as well just put a warp in one while I'm here. Oh my god. It's so fucked. I'm telling you, gold relics are not as bad as the blue relics at the fuck all. Um, the problem with doing these relics, the mind games, yes, the mind games. I would say most of Warp Room 1's levels can be really difficult, mostly because there's no gimmicks in any of these games. They have the things that are in almost all the other versions of these minigames. Like, for the Pogo levels, like... This level is the most basic one. Put your color on the board and then hit a box to get the points. How many points that you lay down of your color. Like, oh my god, they all have fucking shoes. <laughs> like, this one is probably the most basic one. Like, with Pogo and Gogo, it was fucking cake. Main reason was because you don't need boxes. And that's probably the one thing that makes this game a little harder is the fact that you have to wait for a goddamn box. <laughs> You had me at first. You kind of, you kind of made me almost piss myself. Like right now, I could use a box right about now. It would really hurt my soul if they, one of them caught up. There we go. At least something. Holy shit. Yeah, these games are the most basic. So you're really just basing it off raw skill, RNG. That's it. That's why these games can kind of suck sometimes when you're doing these. Carlos is a funny fella. No, nah, cause um, so uh, me, me and one of my friends like Carlos, like he's always been in the chat before, supported the streams and everything. Um, I know like we we're always talking about like the bad boy scene or not, what was that? yeah, the bad boy scene. Like basically where homeboy comes to the door, and uh, pretty much what ends up happening is he's trying to ask out one of their daughters, and then just. <laughs> Every single that man makes me laugh every single time. Like he's a funny guy. I, I'm not. Let me shut up. <laughs> Different topic. I'm talking about wolves on the phone. All right, you're, you're in the way. See, if this was a blue relic, this motherfucker would have shot me. As I missed the box, or dead. You can shoot me dead. This. Okay, I need a box. Thank. You. Hmm. Oh, fuck you! A frame faster. That's fucking shit. That's GG. That's so shitty. Dude, I feel like the boxes, they don't go anywhere near you. No, I legit feel like whenever, like, the boxes pop up, they don't put them near you at all. Like, they they put them, like, somewhere far off on the on the uh, actual playing field to where you need shoes. But guess what? You can't get the shoes because the CPUs get them before you do. All right, Warp Room 1 is completely done. We have eight relics now. Um, I really don't want to do fun. It's either embolism or a fucking beach ball. And I don't want to do none of those. Those games fucking suck! <laughs> God, those games suck. Embolism is ass just by default because the game gets fucking crazy. But let's... Beach Ball, if you fail that motherfucker, then you're just going to have to redo it again. And may I remind you, that game moves slow as piss. Slower than a man in a retirement home's piss. That shit is slow. Alright, pending if I win this, I will take a break to, uh... Get my water. Might take a a, a, a decent break actually. I want to rebrush my teeth. Oh yeah, that's a dub. You can you can go ahead and pass me that.
control die. I'm going to take a quick break now. I guess it's better time than any. Um, I'm going to take a quick break. Hope you guys are enjoying this stream so far. I'm going to go get my water from downstairs and also find my cord to charge this controller. Um, because it is officially dead. <laughs> so, uh, I will be back. Uh, for those of you who are new to the stream, wait, can I at least turn it back on? So I get PlayStation 4, 5, I can't. It's just dead. It's just gone. Um, so I'm sorry. You're just going to have to constantly see Tiny fall, but not fall while I'm gone. Um, yeah. I'll be back. If you guys haven't subscribed, if you're on YouTube, don't forget to subscribe. If you're on Twitter or Twitch, rather, don't forget to follow. I'll be right back. Oh, God. Do, 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 do.
Holy shit. Whew. Bro, so I ordered like four. Did I mute myself? Oh, damn, dude. Let me, uh, let me ask this real quick. You know, do something fast. Yeah, so stupid outfits. Thank goodness you have made it this far. I now believe that Uka Uka has been fooling us. <laughs> oh man. <sighs> um But what was I gonna say? Yeah, I ordered like four cases of water. So, the rest of them are downstairs, but I just put a couple in the refrigerator, and I grabbed two for myself just to drink on it. Assuming they're still down there breathing. What if they're just playing cards? What if they're just sitting in there? Alright, let's keep going. I'm sick of seeing Tiny just suffer like that. All right, welcome back to anyone that is new to the stream that popped in while I was on break. Uh, here I am. I am Jeremy from the J Jugular channel. Today, we are going to continue the Crash Bandicoot Marathon by completing uh, some gold relic action on Crash Bash with Coco because I gave uh, Crash a little bit too much love in all the other games. Oh, yeah, you going to get your ass off. <laughs> Fuck that walrus bullshit. So yeah, we're picking back up. The last time I did this, I was very, very, very lazy. It just I only streamed for like an hour and some change, which is unlike me. I normally stream for like at least three hours and 30-ish minutes. Can this be lightning, please? Oh my god. They did the thing! That's the fucking thing I'm talking about! They literally use each other as fucking sacrifices because they're like, no, the human can't fucking get it. That's so fucked. That's so fucked. That would have been such an easy fucking setup. I hate polar. I hate the polar levels and relics. They fucking suck. All of them are fucking garbage. They literally use each other as fucking human meat shields. Like, holy fucking shit. You don't need this shit. They don't. Oh. Okay, I guess you didn't need it. You dick bitch. Stop giving it the fucking cortex, you goddamn animals! Fuck! <laughs> How he fall? <laughs> How did he? F Hold up. How he fall? How the fuck did he fall? How the fuck did he fall? I need an answer. Not right now, but I need an answer.
Because that didn't make any fucking sense. How did he fall? <laughs> Is Dingo Dow able to push Tiny around? How does that make sense? How does that make fucking sense? I hate this. Why did I do this? <laughs> Why did I do this next? Holy fucking shit. The shittiest fucking upgrade ever. Like, oh my god. This does nothing for you in this level. In this game. It does nothing for you. But that's, yeah. Yeah, you don't need it. They need it. It's... Please don't give the Cortex. No! Are you serious, Daiki? Is that why he fell like that? fell in that exact same fucking spot. <laughs> okay, hold up. I got, I got cord, cord control here. Boy, please don't push me. Please don't push me. Oh, my elbow is fucking itching. Nothing for me. Holy shit. <laughs> I didn't even see him fall. Oh my Jesus Christ. Oh shit! I can't fucking touch him. The beam hasn't been on for what, 50 something seconds? Turn on! Oh, now you want to turn the fuck on. I hate it here. I fucking hate it here, talk. This is by far the worst. Like, waiting on the lightning to show up is so shitty, especially when all of them are fucking here. I don't want it. You know, I swear there was a time I played uh, Tilt Panic and the walrus just managed to... <sighs> What's up, Ricardo? Welcome to the stream, fam. Guys, 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 holy shit! <laughs> to the stream though Ricardo I'm glad that you're here I'm watching me suffer on wonderful Crash Bash great game fuck these relics oh 
They didn't tell the game literally crashed. Hold on, I beat the eventual team Cortex. Now I'm halfway done with team game. Look at you. I can't wait to get to that game. I can't, I can't move. I can't move. I literally was tapping square the whole time. <laughs> what the fuck? God, this minigame sucks. This game sucks. This minigame fucking sucks. You're taking this. I don't give a fuck. Why do they, they keep giving it to Cortex? Do they just know he's weak? Do the CPUs just know that Cortex is fucking weak? So they're like, yeah, no, fuck that. He's not getting it. You've got to be fucking kidding me. You've got to be fucking shitting me right now. Every fucking time I'm alone with one of these big bitches, I'm always falling off the ice. Every fucking time. Okay, yeah, no. For some reason, he was able to fucking sidestep to push me, like, on some bullshit. Please be lightning. Thank fuck. Hit me. Try it. Try it. Fucking try it, bastard. OGCNK plays rough around the edges compared to all the other racing games that we have on the market for Crash. Like, the game is very stiff. It's playable, but it's very, very stiff. They're fucking bullying me, holy shit. I'm surprised Ingo Dow was like, up, oh, yeah, you can go too. <laughs> oh god, the RNG gods are pissing on me right now. I'm loving it. I'm loving it. Hit me. Come on, you can push. Come on, push. Hit me. Bastard. <laughs> It can see, I can see the stiffness, but it's not so bad once you're used to it. True. Fuck. Thank God that bullshit's over. Oh my lord. Okay, that's over. Um, what else is here? Uh, oh God, yep, no. <laughs> Heavens, no. We'll do Desert Fox. <laughs> Oh my god. Yeah, next on the horizon after this is Wrath the Cortex. Can't wait to get to that. I'm gonna have some words and some stories. I may take a note out of John's book and perhaps have guest visitors during some of these crash games as well. It's a slight possibility. Um, we'll see. Let's see, like I said earlier. Crash is normally not here. It's usually Cortex. Crash is just like, fuck it, Coco. This is my game. Yep, that was definitely me. The relics in this game are ruthless. Fuck yeah, they are. What's up, Jay? Welcome to... Welcome to the stream. Yes, they're terribly ruthless. Thank God we are not doing blue relics just yet. We're only doing gold or false gold for the time being. Okay, so I haven't really talked about this. For some reason, the CPUs are gunning for you very, very hard when you're doing these fucking games. I... I... I can't even fucking fathom. They immediately gun for you. I don't... I really do not like uh, Desert Fox because the lines and shit that you have to travel down these, like, the corridors and shit and these tank levels fucking suck because sometimes you could be on a long fucking corridor and you just can't fucking move because they're in a goddamn way.
Most underrated crash game, IMO, Wrath of Cortex. It's a good game, too. Like, there's a lot about the game that I actually really like. Like, for some people, some people argue the fact that, oh, it's just Crash 3, but they fucking, they didn't do anything right, and this, that, and the other. They're like, bro, the game is fucking fine. Like, holy shit, it was probably the most hyped game that I was really excited to play back in 05 to 09 time frame. Maybe, like, if not later. Yep, I see you. Some motherfucker. Is that a... Not so bad. I like how you can stealth walk on the nitro crates. Yeah, that's actually... Funny thing you say that. That's actually one of the abilities that people just don't fuck with. And mainly because it doesn't serve you any purpose other than that, which is in bonus levels. Um, I think Wrath of Cortex is actually, I like it, like I said, I can't wait to get to it, um, it's another, you know, regular, regular crash game that we're all so used to, I will come back for you later, just, let's save our game, because some of these, I can't imagine a point where I just, the game just completely shuts off, for some reason, and then I'm just like, well, all those relics, fucking gone, I guess, I'd love to quote to guess for PS2 Crash, except for Mind Over Mutant Taxi Racing. PS2 Crash just says nostalgic. Yeah, I said that earlier, right? Like, the PS2 era of Crash Bandicoot was super nostalgic for me. There are some things I argue Rat the Cortex does better than Warp. Like how in underwater levels you can use Aqua Aqua Invincibility in the Death Throughout Tornado Spin when in Warp you couldn't do that. Yeah, in Warp you didn't really have anything to use at your disposal. You literally just had swimming. <laughs> That's literally it. See, this one's a little easier because you don't have to focus on just one gimmick that can give you an ace in a hole. This one is a regular polar level. Uka Uka might piss on you a little bit, but only a little bit. It's like a... Like, Nothing crazy. Same ring champions. Nothing's nothing's changed except now we got Uka Uka and it's gonna hopefully, you know, cause this to be a little bit easier. Oh shit. Hey buddy. Dick. <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna hear this later. Fucking water. Oh my god. Hey look man, don't 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 do this. I got one win out of pure luck. Why does he turn like that? Get the bitch ass out of here. Stop giving it to fucking him!
Why don't you piss on him for? Right after Cortex, I also did the thing where crates next and nitros would blow up along with them when they need a nitro switch. OG Crash 2 and Crash 3 doesn't do that. Yeah, I learned that the hard way on Code Hard Crash. I will always remember that. Did they fix that in Nit in uh, Insane Trilogy? Is that a thing that they fixed? Because I, I, I haven't noticed yet. I mean, we are going to redo the Crash Trilogy on the Insane Trilogy whenever we get down that path. But I never noticed or not if they fixed that. Big head, it's you and me. Why did you not piss on him? Holy shit. I still say Polar Panic is the hardest push relic. Oh, without a doubt. That shit is the hardest one for sure. This one isn't as bad. Like I said, the Warp Room 1 mini games have no gimmicks. So when you're doing those, it's like you're essentially basing it off your skills and RNG. And that's it. Uku Uku trying to video bomb your first one. I didn't even look at it. This is... I was not looking. I'm pretty sure they did fix that. I'm replaying Insane Crash 3 currently so I can test... God damn, he did. So I can test it on, on a level sometime to see. Yeah, I'm really curious if that was something that they fixed. I don't think it is. And the reason why I say that, because I always miss the fucking crate. I think... Did I... I did Crash 2 recently. I think I 100%ed the whole game. Maybe. I don't remember. This is where it gets fucking in the way. In other news, has anyone gotten a new Spongebob game yet? Cosmic Shake. I'm actually low-key interested in it. I just purchased uh, New Super Mario Brothers uh, U Deluxe for my Switch because I'm currently helping out John uh, do a some form of a Let's Play of the game. So I'm helping him out with that, and it motivated me to get the game, so I just bought it for myself. I will be doing that for Amiibros also, so in the meantime, I'm taking the opportunity to practice going through it. But yeah, Cosmic Shake, it, it looks kind of good. I mean, I have uh, Battle for Bikini Bottom rehydrated. I just never completed the game. Oh yeah, this is definitely a loss. Oh, this is a loss for sure. Like I said, Cortex is always the bitch in these games. If your enemy is Cortex, he is always a bitch. Always. Cortex is always an asshole in these games. Like, you could gun for Cortex, but it wouldn't do you any fucking justice in the slightest, because he's just good. For some reason, like I said, in, when we did Crash Ball, the, the CPUs kick hard as shit for some fucking reason. Fuck you, dude.
I got hate Cortex so Oh my Jesus. How long does it take the kick to come back? Like what the fuck? See this is this is the shit I'm talking about. This is the shit I'm talking about. Just kill me. Just fucking kill me. Fuck kill me. Come on. I would like to get Cosmic Shake. Hurt from Elliot, but it's really that is really good. I'm debating on what, what version I want PlayStation or Switch. If I get it, I'm more than likely gonna get it for the PlayStation. More than likely. Son of a bitch. Love Battle for Bikini Bottom, probably my favorite Spongebob game. Such a great representation with Spongebob. There's a ton of references to the show throughout. Yeah, it's actually a really good game. Um, like, I'm using streams as an excuse to take an opportunity to go ahead and complete some games that I haven't completed, only due to my attention span being shitty. So I'm taking opportunities with that. Like, of course, I've played through all these Crash games before, but it'll be good to tackle other stuff. They always do that. You know what I always fucking notice? Why does the ball... It always happens. The ball goes down in that in the right corner, and then it's like, boom, shield. Oh, wait, you can't touch it. Cortex has it. Don't worry. You didn't need it anyway, right? We're fucking his shit. Oh my god. Fuck! <laughs> Fuck! <laughs> oh my god! This is an L. <laughs> this is an L. That's an L.
Bro, I'm so pissed. <laughs> I'm absolutely... I have so much rage right now. <laughs> Why do you keep giving it to him, though? What the fuck? You gotta be shitting me, dog. You gotta be fucking shitting me. Like, what the fuck? Why did they gave it to him twice? I think it was in the same fucking spot. <laughs> Why did they give it to him twice? Like, what is happening right now? Jesus fuck. Fuck. What the fuck? <laughs> How the other people's scores still go? It's insult to injury, if you ask me. That shit is so fucked. He is the problem, bro. That bitch, that inheaded bitch, is the fucking problem. He is the problem. Shut up. God. Fuck this shit is ass. He is, he is the fucking problem. Cortex is such a piece of shit.
I'm shocked. I'm goddamn shocked. Got me choking on oh, 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 oh. Got me choking on fucking everything, pause. God, Cortex is such a peace dog. <laughs> Every other night, my roommate is playing the shittiest of shittiest music ever. Not really. I keep wanting to say roommate, my fucking neighbor. Holy fucking shit! Oh god, this shit is so lame, dog. It's one fucking ball. It's one fucking ball. It's only one fucking ball. Yeah, this motherfucker a whole menace. Motherfucker pissed because he ain't even getting the game himself. I'm so happy this is not the Blue Rose. I'm so happy.
fuck. Thank you, God. Oh, my fucking Christ. Mm. Oh, my Jesus, thank you. Oh. Uh. Holy fuck, <laughs> Oh, shit! That was so bad. God. Engine is a whole menace. The shitty part about doing that game is whenever you're trying to get a shield and you miss that bitch. How? This <laughs> is how did you how did you manage? How did you manage to do that? This <laughs> This no comment. That was I felt like they killed each other. Like <laughs> that was that was easier than what it should have fucking been. Alright, so we're just missing two. Okay. We'll do it. Fuck it. We'll do beach ball. Holy shit, I really hope this is not taking me five ever. God damn it. They it they killed each other. I'm looking at them kill each other at the same fucking time. Like how how did you manage? How? Bro, I ordered this pizza today. I don't know how to feel about it. Like, it's good, you know what I'm saying? But it's not like... It's not all that. I don't like my pizza, like, sliding. Like, I don't know how to explain it. I just don't like it to where it just... It's... It's... So... I don't like really greasy... Pizza. Fuck. longer than I have to be. Oh my god.
Damn. Got fucked up. Oh, one ball, too. Woo! If I could beat this in one go, that'd be beautiful. Like, I don't, I do not want to repeat this. We can repeat the blue relic, just not this. Not right now, please. Like, I am begging. Like, I do not want to redo this again. He's the fucking problem, I'm telling you. Thank you, Jesus. I don't have to redo this more than once. Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Who we? I'm ecstatic. Who? I needed I just needed a phone break because that all was just yeah we're saving oh, Jesus what is what's the last one uh what's the fuck is the last one El Poco Loco right yeah that's the last one I ended my gosh my fucking Christ this the ballistic levels are really just a pain in the dick. Oh my god, it's literally like someone is taking a broomstick and just whacking your, your ball sack and just going like, and they're just doing that the whole fucking time. Oh, I'm, glad, I'm glad you missed me. Uh, holy god. Holy everything. Bro, 
groceries. Oh my goodness. Okay, crash pissing me off. Nothing new. <laughs> Hello, Ripper. This <laughs> is. It's a little bit more peaceful now that I actually completed that bullshit. Ripper and Rilla, the attack of the ruse. Oh my god. Just, motherfuckers just all over. How y'all gonna give him shoes? This, that's so foul. See, this is the shit I'm talking about. They just give them shit. That's, that's the shit I'm talking about. They just give them fucking items. Look at this. Look at this. Look at it. They're just giving them shit. <laughs> Why can I have shoes show up near me? RNG. RNG. Look, they're just putting the fucking shoes near them. I was gonna be so pissed. I'm <laughs> like, dog, come on. So that's, what I, that's what I'm talking about. Mm. Mm, that's what I'm talking about. Look at them points. Mm -hmm. That's what I'm fucking talking about. That's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. They don't want to see nobody win. They don't want to see someone come from the come up. Look at that. What you finna, what you finna do? Look at that. Mm. Mm, that's so good. We done. We done with that. Onward to Warp Room 4. Whew. Sweet everything. We're, we're lining up. We're lining up. We're doing good. We're doing good. We're doing good. Okay, now that that bullshit is over... What I tend to do next is I go to Warp Room 4. I do my bestest, bestest, bestest to complete all the levels here as much as possible. And then I will, you know what? Just so I can have a fair end to the stream and then we can kind of start getting these uh, blue relics. What I'm going to do is... Okay, so we just need to get trophies. That I can accomplish. Let's let's do this. Um, let's start with Manic Panic because that's easy. All we need is six trophies to progress the story, right? We're going to do that. I don't know if I need to get... How much shit I need to get to actually get the blue relics unlocked. We're, we're going to start um, and just... We're just going to... Hi, guys. It's, it's me, you know, just been collecting relics as all. Well. Nothing crazy. Now, this game is very fucking easy. Holy shit, it is special on the trophy. Oh my god, it's piss easy. We don't need any gems, we just literally need trophies. Now, as tedious as that might be, we will attempt the most that we fucking can. Alright, I don't I don't wanna goof and be an idiot doing this shit, but uh Now, normally, I, you know, I was very, very headstrong in Warp Room 3, just getting, like, everything. But, no, I think this time around, I'm going to actually just get the trophies. Just like, oh, my Jesus. I'm just going to go for trophies. 
bitch. We're only gonna go for trophies so that way we can progress the game's story. And then at least by the time we get to um, the last stream, it'll just be a collective talk. Do I expect the next stream to be the finale of Crash Bash? Absolutely fucking not. I'd be I'd be smoking dick if I thought that. This is probably the largest arena that they give you for the polar levels. I, I love Manic Panic a lot. It's great. It's a great minigame. Um, easy as piss, too, whenever you're doing this um, for relics. It's easy as shit. Alright. We got one trophy there. Um, Drain Bash is pretty cakes. We're going to get this one. Now, I'm not going to say after I get to Oxide, I'm going to say I'm done with the game. Like, by all means, no. We're still going to 200% it, like I was saying. Um, however, the goal here, essentially, is to just increase the length in the story. God. That's so fucked. <laughs> but yeah, um, as far as that pizza goes, I'm definitely going to eat it because I, I, I would love to eat something else tonight as far as putting something in my stomach. Um, but no, that shit was, uh, it was mid pizza. Like, I know someone asked me about it because I had someone pick me up for work the other day. Um, they were like, oh, how's the pizza over here? And then they kind of motivated me to be like, uh, maybe I should try it. I mean, it is like right across the street from me or whatever. Drain Bash. Yeah, Drain Bash is definitely a fun one. I think uh, the music's good, uh, and then this one takes reference uh, from... You know, it doesn't look like it does. The references is definitely from Crash 2. Holy shit. Yeah, Drain Bash is a good one, too. <sighs> Another trophy accomplished. Most of these other levels will require some form of a time, so I can't avoid it. <laughs> or do something until something runs out. I think, like I said, this is the shit that makes Crash Bash tedious. Like, I love the game in the multiplayer aspect, but when you're doing a single player, the shit can be really torturous, bro. Like, holy shit. I want to excuse my, room, my uh, neighbor's music, because I know, like, my man, like, I, I dream of a day 
I actually had an interesting dream last night too. I had a dream that I lived like right near my parents and my like I lived right near my parents. And then I had a dog for some reason. I don't I never owned a dog my whole life growing up, but I had a dog and my mom like got me a present and inside of the present was like cookies or some shit. And um, of course I was very appreciative of the dream and everything and you know I would uh, anything my mom gets me I'm always happy for it. Especially when you're my age, dude. Like, getting anything from your parents means a lot. But no, I had, that was an interesting dream I had last night. Um, I don't know what made me talk about that in the midst of the fuck. I don't know what reference this is supposed to make. I mean, well, Crash 1 does have, like, the toxic drain levels, or the levels that are in toxic ways, so, I mean, that makes sense. That, hmm. Never thought about that till now, actually, funny enough. I can't tell if I'm getting hungry or tired. I'm gonna go with hungry because I really need something in my mouth after brush my teeth. That's so foul. Yeah, the the one thing I like about Warp Room 4 is that these are the most unique levels in the entire game for the most part. I'll tell you get the Warp Room 5 and it's just like, here's your extra levels. That's all Warp Room 5 is. If there's four of each different type of minigame, and in Warp Room 5, which we'll get after we, uh, that's what I'm trying to get to, uh, trying to get the Oxide first, but essentially, um, whenever you do this, and whenever you unlock everything, well, I don't want to say unlock everything, but whenever you're done Warp Room 4, you get to unlock Warp Room 5, and then how do you get to those levels? You have to get Relics. Which is why most times, whenever I'm doing these, uh, whenever I'm doing a run of Crash Bash, most of the time, I'm already, um, Hi, I want to offer promotion of your channel viewers, uh, uh, uh hi, let's block you. Where are you at? You're talking on Twitch? Okay. Rock. Rock. Account created two hours ago, huh? That's interesting. Alright, so can I also delete this comment? Report. Yeah, let's report. Um, spam. Like a spam. I don't need to tell you more than what I've already told you. Alright, cool. Yeah, so I wonder is it one of those things where it's just like like you don't need you don't actually need twenty two trophies, but it's oh yeah, we'll do sky balls too, why not? That's my water. Yeah, this one can suck depending on what you're doing. This is by far, I think, the worst crystal in the game. The crystal can either let you win once or you'll probably have the shittiest time of your life. I also do not like the failing engines. I do like the reference, though, it being, like, the Crash 3 playing levels. That's neat. Still sucks, though, but, I mean... <laughs> Oh, 
Please do not make me redo this fucking trophy here. Oh my god. If I have to redo this trophy, I'm leaving this level. <laughs> like, I will do every level except this one if I have to, if I fail this. Gonna throw the biggest fit. Damn this level to hell. You damn right. This level fucking sucks. I do not like sky balls at all. It is my least favorite one. Looks good by design, but fuck this thing. This level sucks so bad. Worst crystal, or at least one of the worst crystals in this fucking game. <sighs> I'm gonna push myself only because this shit is fucking boring. It's the only reason why I'm just pushing myself because I feel like I can at least get to the end and in the next stream I can probably start doing blue wells if I don't start it like at least now. He's the fucking problem. Bitch on the right. Took me an hour, a half hour to beat it. This level's crystal is absolute bam. Yep, that's why I'm not complete. If I had to complete every single level on this, like tonight, on this warp room, I there would be no way. We would be doing battling oxide in the next thing. There'd be no fucking way. Wow, he's still a fucking problem. He's still a fucking problem.
He's the fucking problem. Like, dude, I really, I, I like the fact that you want to show me that, you know, trophy CPUs matter. I get it. But hey, man, I really, I really don't want to repeat this. You can, you can show me your skills on a different mini game, not this. If that said a two instead, I'd be like, when do we go back in time? Oh, my goodness gracious. Oh, this stuff is tedious, man. It takes, like, forever to beat all, any of these games. Because most of them have a timer or, like, a, a quota that you have to meet or something that you have to do. I got scared for a sec. Me too. I, got, I was about to get frustrated for a sec. That's what I was going to do. Wait a minute. You have to do every fucking level here. Yeah, in order to battle Oxide, you have to do every level up to that point. Oh my god, damn. But Crash Bash, again, great, phenomenal game. I love it. I've done so much with it on the channel, and I appreciate the love for the game. But fuck me, is this adventure mode not good? It's it's not good, dog. It's, it's not. It's not good at all. It's... It's not even a fucking adventure mode. It's it's a collectathon of shit. You're playing the same fucking mini game over and fucking over again. Yes, and it's hard as shit. Like, the trophies are just fucking tedious. Like, really, really, guy? Win the game three fucking times? Like, seriously, though. Like, win the game three fucking times. Three fucking times. On the easiest as piss fucking difficulty. That's what you want me to do. Oh, God damn, fuck you. Yeah, there's no difficulty setting on these. It's like, uh, especially, Ring Ding isn't really bad when you're playing a CPUs. Again, it's the fact that this shit is fucking easy as shit, and it's so much back and forth. Like, it's either, hey, play this minigame. Now play this minigame with less time. Now play this minigame, but get your points down to zero before someone else does. It's like they programmed a random sandwich game for easy to fucking bullshit. <laughs>
Like, I don't get it. Not to mention, the game requires you to get, like, I look dead as fuck. The game requires you to get, like, every single trophy in every game pretty much up to this point. But it's like, why are the crystals such a big fucking deal, then? So my eyes roll back. I'm getting tired. I legit can't fucking tired. This shit is fucking. Look at me, bro. Look at me. Oh my god. I'm legit getting fucking tired. Like holy fucking shit. This is so boring. It's so boring. It's so bad. That three? Tell me those three. Yeah, that was three. Thank God. <sighs> hmm. Crash Bash Live has some new version of these mini games. Yeah, one of my friends showed me that. I'm um, on. Noah actually, he showed me Crash Bash Live. When Noah had that voice thing. Oh yeah, no, he that hey, it was annoying. Mark just wanted to prove a fucking point, be a dickhead. He was like, "Oh yeah, I'm gonna tell you, dude. Like, this mini game sucks." I'm like, "It's not that bad." He's like, "No, dog, no, no. Let's play, let's play first to seven ring thing." I'm like, "Okay, <laughs> All right, you proved your point. You don't have to be a dickhead about it." Love the guy. That shit was boring, like, some of these games I can tolerate, you know what I'm saying? Like, Jungle Fox? Jungle Fox is okay, I love Jungle Fox. for that. It's just the totems that hurt you that piss me off. Well, if you know their route, then you can probably just dodge them. Like, the totems, the, the one drops down to, like, the very left corner, and then after a while, you can just, like, it just goes in a clockwise circle. Can you move, please, sir? Holy shit. Oh, my God. This is fine, because this is one level I can repeat. Holy fuck, that motherfucker would not move. You lucky bitch, you all the way over there. Okay, we're repeating this. Fucking marshmallow. Huh? <laughs> 
what you talking about? What's a who's a marshmallow? a fucking marshmallow. You know, that makes sense now when you really look at the characters. <laughs> oh my Jesus. I really can't allow this motherfucker to win, dog. Please do not allow this motherfucker to win. I'm on his ass now. What the fuck? I look so miserable. Holy fucking shit. Get that son of a bitch, Carl. Hell yeah, I'm getting them. I'm getting them. Holy shit. I have not had to repeat a game. I probably have, but I probably lost track of what I've had to repeat, but... better. I had to go for that bitch the whole time. That's better. That, see, that's the shit I like to see. That right there. That's the shit I like to see. I don't understand why the controller fucking does this. It's like a fucking child who needs a pacifier. It's like, dude, I know you've been charging like this whole fucking time. What the fuck? Okay. Cheese doodle. Yeah, they do like cheese doodles, don't they? Okay. Is it gonna let me go anyway? Okay, okay, you son of a bitch. Now you just don't want to glitch. Okay, cool. We'll do Pogo Padlock. I have everything else, so you can't fucking be like, oh. Just. It's the trophy. Polo Padlock does suck though, because sometimes the CPUs can get way ahead of you and steal your shit and do that, do that whole thing where it's like, oh, we're gonna steal your color. Oops, we accidentally fucking stepped on it. All right, what makes Pogo Padlock so different and unique compared to all the other Pogo levels is normally you can step on your color whenever you know you pass by it or you're trying to get to a box or do whatever the fuck, right? In this game, if you step on it, you lose all your fucking color. 
demonstrate as I have a lot of color right now. Um, I would love a box to pop up in my part of the game. Fucking myself. Another item that's also unique is the padlock. So it, it basically disables anyone from stepping on your color. And finally, the rockets actually serve a fucking purpose in the pogo levels other than stopping you. Um, you can steal someone else's color by using it, which is actually really cool. I don't know why that triggers it of all things, but... Can I just play against Oxide, you fucks? Like, holy shit. Like, oh my goodness gracious. Get, no, hear me out. Hear me out, dog. I just want to play against fucking Oxide and end this fucking stream. My eyes are hurting. Low, low, low key. And I think it's only hurting because this shit is fatiguing me because it's, it's just... Ah! I'm trying to, like... I don't even know how to even be bad right now. Because it's like, I'm trying to, like, actually think about and fathom at the thought of, like, how dull and boring this is. I don't know. As a kid, I, it just didn't resonate with me how bad Adventure Mode really was. It's pretty bad. I, it, it's bad. It's not, it's not awful, but it's not good either. Like, holy shit. Maybe there's a little something going on behind the crates that's explaining where the oh yeah is coming from. Come on, dog. I, I always... One of my friends told me that this takes place in the garage, but... I find that very hard to believe. This, I always thought this took place behind a fucking school. That's in my head canon, at least. He said something. They got some action going on behind the crates, huh? Some little after school... The... Uh, Smoking the Mary Jane, talking to uh, talking to your high school crush or something. I don't fucking know. Someone was really singing their heart out on this fucking song, though. That's for goddamn sure. Fucking jumping in sync? The fuck is wrong with y'all? Like I said, it would be really nice if I could get to a fucking box. It would be really nice if I could get to a fucking. Dude, why do they keep doing that? Why do they keep putting. is lucky. I don't know, it says crash paint on a truck. What the hell kind of school is this? I don't know. But I really want, I really need to know, like, where the fuck this takes place. Like, I I just want to know. If it takes place in a garage, that just doesn't make sense.
Thank you. Holy shit. I'm almost about to say the word. <laughs> I'm so close to saying the word, dog. Dude, I hate my roommates. Uh, fuck my neighbor's fucking music. It sounds fucking awful. Like, it literally sounds like dog ass. Like, I can't even lie to you. It sounds so fucking bad. It sounds fucking awful. Oh my Jesus. Thank the heavenly lords. No, like, the thing about this fucking game is they put the boxes in the most dumbest spot so that way you can't even touch them. It's like... They'll put the boxes, so let's say you have a whole clump of yellow, right? They put the boxes, like, somewhere inconvenient, so you can't even get to them. And it's like, dude, what the fuck? Like, I need a box. And by that point, someone either hit you with a missile, or you don't have enough points, so it's hard for you to catch up now. Oh my Jesus, I'm done. I'm fucking done. Where is it? Let, let me go save. Go save. Oh my fucking God. Holy shit. I think that took an hour. That had to take an hour. Okay. Story progression. Fucking finally. After so long, Uka Uka is apparently using this tournament to get crystals. So Aku Aku says, hey, do this last game and then I can put the crystals away. The last game involves us chasing and killing Oxide. Because holy shit. 
All right, so right here in this section of the actual game, or in this section of the boss fight, it's a two-parter boss fight. All we have to do is not run into shit and dodge Oxide's missiles as best as we can. If I die here, please excuse me. I haven't done this since I was a kid. Um, actually, shooting Oxide does fucking nothing, but we can shoot the objects that he drops, such as the, the Nitro Crates. Um, I don't think we can shoot the missiles, though. This does control really fuck. I was gonna say this does control really loose. So just keep that in mind as you're chasing him because I'm barely moving to the right. Oxide's first half is ridiculous. Yeah, it's fucking stupid. But once we make it past the first half, then we're good. And we all we have to do is beat him in a game of ballistics. Oxide said fuck racing in all of Gasmoxia, and he said, I'm just gonna play ballistics instead. Like, they really got Naughty Dog Roots and said, hey, we'll just turn all of this shit into a minigame. Like, they they took the ultimate boss. Yeah, I don't care if I don't make it. Um, fuck. What's the point of shooting if you're unable to hurt Oxide here? Um, you can shoot all the other objects, because there will be objects in the way, such as the... Let me see, we're about to pull up on them in a second. I don't even know what these fucking things are. These little space things. You, you can shoot those, and he will drop nitro crates that we can shoot also. Other than that, you can't really shoot him. Again, this is just an oxide. We're chasing him for this first portion of the boss fight. And I guess we're playing ballistics on Gasmoxia, I guess? What's up, dude? Welcome back. God, there's like no fucking point in shooting him. I normally don't have this much struggle during this, but it can get really fucking annoying with the missiles because he doesn't stop shooting until you go through that goddamn portal. Por portal? Porter? <laughs> I went on the server, crafted diamond armor, and left. That's neat. can assume this is guys moxia guys well that sucks all right this is a very 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 fucking unfair version of ballistics um oxide has missiles that he can shoot at us and we haven't done the crystal challenge of sky balls yet but oxide can um get the red balls to show up which on contact instantly ko us if we touch them So usually after the riding portion, I will probably just die because there's no point. Yeah. I don't have a lot of health anyway, so. Bullshit. Fucking bullshit. Well, no, it's um, it's total BS, like, without a doubt. I think I've heard rumors people talk about after a while. If you, uh, if you haven't beaten Oxide yet, it just gets easier. And those red fucking balls on contact will instantly KO us, so we can't touch them. It's not sky balls, but they still suck. I'm, I'm way more wide awake now that we're doing something with more variety, but guys, rest assured, this, I was about to fucking die. Whenever we were doing, uh, I forgot what game it was. It wasn't Skyballs. I, 
can't fucking remember. And Oxide, for some fucking reason, is cracked at ballistics. Like, I don't know what the fuck it is. He's just goddamn cracked. None of them are going in this fucking goal. Like, yeah, it gets easier the more you lose. Like, this motherfucker, none of them were touching him. Don't feel bad about it, dude. 900 hours isn't bad. One of my friends has, like, 1,500 hours in Smash Brothers. Like, he has quadruple digits in some games. So... I once or twice on the first try it was rough. Hell no. I can never beat that motherfucker on the first try. Yeah, this shit is like really dumb. He just let that happen. Okay, cool. I think this is the one probably. I, I'm not gonna jinx myself there. Fucker. Yeah, that was fun. I've both, I've been able to be oxide in ten minutes. The first time I did it, it took me a lot longer, or maybe it was just running back. I'll go with that one. I'm gonna fuck. I still won. Hey, to be fair, they didn't know jack shit about your play in the first place. You literally just brought them there and was like, play this game for me. That's a good question, Godzilla.
Okay, so keep in mind, this game is not canon to anything that happens in the Crash Bandicoot games. Nothing at all. It's not canon. But we beat Crash Bash. All right, so first things first, we didn't actually beat it, right? Again, there's a lot of other shit that we have to do in the game. Um, we do need to 200% it, so there are blue relics that we have to get. We have to get the rest of the gold relics. There's another warp room we just unlocked. As you saw, we went to warp room 4 and didn't do any of the other shit out of tediousness. Um, so, yeah. I don't think it's gonna... It's not gonna get tedious from here. It's just gonna be a fucking challenge. That's, that's literally it. That's literally it. Um, this is the credits. Japanese credits for this game is a lot better because it shows you a JPEG ping image of the character doing something. Um, like I know for Coco, when you complete the game, it just has a picture of her with some type of shit hooked up to her laptop, and it has Isabel. It's either Isabel or Tana, like one of the trophy girls, and it just has a picture of them. I don't understand. I don't know if I have the patience for 200%. I'm going to build the patience for it. But yeah, man, um, again, that, the adventure mode is very tedious, man, it's, fuck, do it once in your lifetime, do it co-op, specifically, if you want to do it alone, do it alone, but man, this shit, it's so tedious, I think the trophies is what ruins overall, like, the adventure mode, because you have to do that shit three times in a row. It's not the fact, like, the crystal challenges are great. I have no problem with the crystal challenges. Those are fine, because it, it's unique. The gym challenges, eh, can be a little bit, like, you know, um, in my opinion, they're too, too intense, right? Like, sometimes with the timer, it just gets fucking annoying. The relics, those are challenges. The trophies, in my opinion, I feel like what ruined it for me. God, dude, it just gets so fucking tedious doing that shit. Because um, I feel like it's meant to be like a tutorial for how you beat the level or the game. Um, but yeah, dude, that's it. Um, so, we haven't unlocked the blue relics just yet. I don't think you unlock them until you get a certain amount of trophies here. I feel like. Um, I, maybe you need a certain requirement of items. I don't really know, but this is warp room five. We we now have every single warp room. Um, now keep in mind, most of these levels will be locked. I yeah, I know this one will be. Twenty seven trophies. That is literally got twenty two right now. And how many levels are here? There's six of them. Um, yeah, that's literally every single trophy in the game before you get to that one. This one is, I think, a certain amount of gems. I've noticed how this one looks like Crash 3 Warped, because it's, it is. It's based off the uh, medieval levels, Kekabo. Um, Dante's Dash. And there's, there's no boss here. We actually beat all the bosses. Swamp Fox. Um, Ballad Mash, I think. Yep, 21 Gold Relics. These levels, you need relics. You unlock know, Platinum by beating Ballad Mash Trophy when you which you need 21 relics for. Yeah, so... I don't think I've ever got this far in the game before. And I've gotten this far plenty of times. So, funny enough, we really can't do any of these levels until we go back to Warp 4 and get some shit. Um, but, I think I will save that for another fucking time. Um... Yeah, I, I think I will definitely save that for another fucking time. I think I've had enough. Um, but hey, we essentially beat the game. After you do that, there's really nothing else to go for other than the rest of the mini games. So, yeah, if, you, if you're trying to get all the mini games so you can play them with a group of friends, then you might have to go the long haul. And the only thing you have to do is collect 27 trophies. That's it, because that's how you get Dante's Dash. Um, I will just meet the quota for everything that you need to unlock the levels, and then from there, you're good. You can literally just play these games to your heart's content with your friends. Um, if you're just trying to 200% the game, then you have a lot more of the shit to do. Um, 
But with that being said, I'm done. Um, I feel tired and I need to rest my brain. I feel fatigued. I will be doing another Crash Bash stream sometime later to go ahead and unlock other shit. I doubt I will finish this game in the next stream. Highly, highly doubt for sure. Um, so yeah, I will tell you how Platinum Relics will work. Once I unlock them, just like the Gold Relics, I'm gonna go all the way back and just start completing levels prior to Mallet Mash to get the Blue Relics, right? I'll be doing that, and then once I actually get back here, I'm gonna just trophy, gem, crystal, relic, relic. That's what it's gonna be. It's gonna be so painful, but we'll do it, all right, guys? I hope you enjoyed the stream. If you're new here, don't forget to subscribe on YouTube. Don't forget to follow if you're also on Twitch. I have shorts that are coming out now, so if you guys wanna see little short clips and snippets from videos, you can watch that in your spare time. Um, if you're you know, a veteran here, you've been enjoying the video, thank you for being a supporter. Um, in the meantime, I'm going to log off. I will see you guys later for another stream. Have a good one.